Happy Halloween, everyone. It is October 31st and it's the calm before the storm. Grayson just woke up from his nap. We are having a snack. He loves these veggie sticks. Um, Anthony loves them too. I actually only like the yellow ones because um, the yellow ones actually taste like potato chips. All the rest of them, there's like a carrot one and then a spinach one, I think. Oh no, a tomato. Tomato and tomato and spinach, and I think they taste na nasty. Anthony thinks I'm lying. He thinks they all taste the same, but they do not taste the same. Drop a comment down below what you think, but I definitely think that they all taste different. But Gray loves them all. It's a good snack. So we're just hanging out. They've had Halloween themed shows on all day. We went to uh, story time at the library this morning and we sang some Halloween songs and now we're just chilling. I've got Grayson's baby shark costume over there. We're gonna put it on him later. There's good news and bad news about trick or treat tonight. The good news is it has stopped raining and it is not gonna rain anymore tonight. The bad news is that it is cold and windy now. Pretty windy, I can hear the wind from inside. So it's pretty windy outside, but at least it's not raining. It is supposed to get down to like the low 40s, high 30s at trick or treat time. But it's Ohio. I mean, that's just what we're used to. You layer up under your costume. So I'm gonna put layers on. I'm gonna put layers on gray. And you know, he's little. He's not gonna wanna go to many houses anyway. So we'll just go to a couple houses and then we'll go back inside and be warm. But it should be fun. All of, almost all of my siblings are coming. We always go to my second cousin's house. They live in a nicer neighborhood than we do, a little bit up north. And so we're gonna go and hang out with them. They always host a big Halloween party, so free food. And um, we get to see my second cousins and they're super nice people. So we're excited to go. And it'll be Gray's last time wearing his baby shark costume, which will be sad, but then I can finally put it away because it's just been laying out here for forever. And then tomorrow is November 1st, and then it's like Christmas Central. <laughs> I'm not one of those people that put up the Christmas tree on November 1st. I definitely wait more closer to Thanksgiving, but I do know some people that have already put up their Christmas tree and it's still October. So that's crazy, but hey, you do you if that makes you happy. But Gray is putting veggie sticks back in the, in the bag. Yep. And we're excited. So I hope to take some video. Um, might have to cut the sound out of it because it might be really, really windy when we go. But it should be fun and a good time. I'm not sure if Anthony's going to be able to make it or not. He is working right now and he's not sure if he'll be able to get out of work early enough to come. It stinks because like obviously like Halloween is usually on a weekday. It's always on the 31st. And so like this year it's on a Thursday. And trick or treat is from like 6 o'clock to 8 o'clock. And if we have to drive a half hour to get to my second cousin's house, it's like we gotta leave at like five. So that's hard for Anthony who works a half hour away. He'd have to get off of work at like four, get here at 4.30, you know, it's just a lot. So I totally get it. He was able to make it last year. Last year, Grayson was a cow for his first Halloween. It was super fun and cute and it was definitely nicer weather than it will be tonight, but it's just Ohio and you just gotta take what you get. I've been kind of surprised to see how so many people um, keep posting on all of my Facebook pages, like, where can I go and take my kid indoor trick-or-treating? The weather's gonna be terrible. Like, everybody's like kind of wanting to back out of trick-or-treating. Like, why can't we move it to a better weather date? But I just like, I don't know. I think I'm just so surprised at that. Like, your kids aren't gonna care if it's cold or windy or rainy outside. Like, they wanna go for the fun and for the candy. I just don't understand why people are making such a big deal out of, oh, the weather's stinky. The weather's stinky every year. I think I saw a statistic that said that more than 50% of the time it rains on Halloween. I mean, that's just in Ohio. I think that's just how it is. Like if you want beautiful weather, don't live in Ohio for Halloween. You go to Florida and you can go outside all the time. So, I mean, it's like, it's two hours. You don't even have to be outside for the whole two hours. I just don't understand why people are making such a big deal out of it. It's how it always is. So, I don't know. Maybe some people don't agree with me, but I think people are just kind of being sissies about it and they need to just get over it. It's 
two hours, not even. You don't even have to be outside for two hours. Just go and have fun on Halloween. So, I don't know. I don't really get it, but that's what we're dealing with this year, and we're still going to have a great time, and I'm excited. Are you excited, Gray? Grayson? She's like, but my show. <laughs> It's the end of the day on Halloween. I took some pictures and videos of trick-or-treating. I didn't get that much footage and honestly it was because trick-or-treating was so cold tonight. I guess people did have a reason to be like um, a little hesitant to have their kids go out in the weather. It wasn't so much the cold, it was the wind. It was so windy and that coupled with the cold, it was just so bad. It like your face was like numb after a couple of minutes of being outside. So we did go to a couple of houses and Gray did his trick or treat. He would go nah, 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 knock on the door and then they would give him a candy. He would go and put it in his um, basket so that was super cute and then um, one of the houses in my cousin's neighborhood always does a haunted house in their um, garage they do a really good job with it and so we had to go there and everybody went in I didn't I stayed back with Gray and Kelly brought her dog Cappy so I just held them both while they went through and then that was just basically at the end of the street and then we walked back and went back inside so we didn't go to very many houses but it was just so cold by the time we were heading back to the house Grayson was just done like he was crying he was cold and I get it so we just went back inside but it was really fun um, there was a good party before trick-or-treat um, hot dogs and chili and chips and Grayson was loving hot dog he loves hot dog he goes hot dog he loves hot dog and um, a lot of my family got to come which was really nice unfortunately Anthony couldn't make it because he had to work so that was kind of a bummer that he missed out um, and I had like these I'm still wearing mine I don't know if you can see it but it's a mommy shark shirt and then I had a daddy one for Anthony to wear but since he couldn't come my sister Allison put it on instead and Grayson was loving the shirts because they have like the the pink um, shark and the blue shark on them and he he knew what those meant he'd say mama dada like he knew so it was super cute and he just had a lot better time indoors he liked playing with the dogs and thankfully like I keep saying he's young and doesn't understand what Halloween and trick-or-treat is so he didn't even really care they didn't get a lot of candy and honestly Anthony and I would probably eat the candy anyway so it was good. I did leave out candy at our house while I was gone and about half of it was gone. So a couple of people did come to our house so I'm glad I was able to help them out and yeah so that ends trick or treat Halloween for 2019. Hopefully next year is better and warmer but we'll see and it's just crazy to think that October is over. I just feel like the month went by so fast. It's tomorrow is November 1st and it's just gonna be Christmas everything. Um, so yeah, bring it on, I guess. Grayson's gonna be sad that all the spooky stuff is gone, but he loves Santa, so I'm sure he'll be excited for all the Christmas lights and Santa and everything, so. Thanks for tuning in. Sorry I didn't have more footage. It was just so darn cold and windy. It just wasn't worth it, so. Hopefully next year I'll have more and he'll be more into it and we'll have a better time, but we'll see. But anyway, thanks for tuning in and watching my video. Uh, give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.